What's going on, y'all? Wolf, back at you again with another reaction. All right, y'all. Before we move on to the shipping and episodes, uh, I am way ahead on the Patreon. Um, with the full reactions available, of course, so if you want to watch those instead, make sure you look at the links down below in the description. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, I believe there was a few fillers, like 20 or so episodes. Uh, I will not be watching them. People on the Patreon have told me not to watch them, so I will not watch them. And I assume those of you on YouTube also uh, said the same thing. They seem to be uh, unpopular fillers, so... We're not watching them, thank God. Uh, but I believe we are now moving on, if I'm not mistaken, to a new arc. And it seems like this is gonna be... I mean, dude, this is a war arc. So this isn't like a... You know, a little... Fucking... Mi like, the, the idea of a war to me lasts for a long time. Right? I mean, wars in real life really realistically last for years and years and years. Yes? So, my my first thought is, is, is Naruto the anime going to portray that? Is this shit really going to go on for perhaps the rest of the episodes? We're, we, have like, we're, we have like 250 episodes left, not counting filler. So maybe if we count filler, maybe like, I don't know, like 200, 150? So like, the rest of these episodes could very well possibly be the, uh, the final arc. You know, and I wouldn't be surprised because if we're talking about the fourth great ninja war, that's that should last for a while, you know. So logically speaking, so I mean, this could very very well be the, uh, very well be the final arc that I watch. Makes me kind of sad, but more than sad, it makes me very very hype because, you know, like I said, we're talking about a war, right? Everything up to this point w should pale a comparison. This is a guy. We're gonna see everyone fight. There is there there is gonna be no holding back. You know, there might be some stalling here and there because that's just that's just what Naruto Shippuden does, or, or from what I've noticed. But everyone's gonna fight. Everyone. You know, if we if if a, if one side holds back, that means the other side is gonna is gonna prevail. So there you can't hold back, right? And everyone everyone's gonna fucking have their have have their foot in the door. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna see everyone fight. We saw a little bit of a little bit of a teaser at the Kage Summit, right? Sasuke trying to take on the five Kages, crazy, crazy motherfucker. <laughs> uh, but we saw the Chuchi Kage, the Rai Kage, the Mizu Kage. We we saw a little bit of taste of what they can do. You know what I'm saying? And who knows what their you know what their Andu can do? Their Jonies, their Chunins. Literally, everyone's gonna join the battlefield. If you're able, then you're joining. Cause we need everything to fight against Madara. Now Kabuto. And I guess his reanimation jutsu, which is kind of scary if you think about it, he can make an undead army. Sasuke and Taka, and of course the seven bijus. Then Madara can use it anytime he wants. So, on paper, it looks like Madara has the upper hand. Also, we don't really know how strong Madara is. We just know that so far he hasn't struggled with any fight. He's able to just make himself permeable and choo -choo, you can't touch him, right? That's all we know. We don't really, we haven't really seen or felt his power yet. We know he's probably the strongest person in the show because he's just a cool, calm, collective dude, right? Um, but we really know, how, we don't really know how strong he is. So on paper, Madara's side seems stronger. But Gata did make a great point in that we don't really know how strong we are because this is the first time the ASF has formed in all of ninja history, correct? So. I mean, these dudes can really come together and fuck shit up. You know, you know what I'm saying? This is definitely gonna be a war. This is gonna be a fight, bro. This is gonna be a back and forth. You know, who's gonna? Uh... Oh, dude, this is actually perfect. I really hope they make Shikamaru shine more. If this is a war arc, we're gonna need Shikamaru mind. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna need him to do this, and we're gonna his father too. I I, I don't know if his father is smart, but. I'm sure the, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, you know what I mean? So I, I really hope we see some strategy. I'm definitely down for some very big scale jutsus and cool fights. Of course I want to watch that, but I definitely want to see some strategy. I want to see some, you know, uh, behind the scenes work, you know what I'm saying? And uh, what, they, what they're really going to put into the war. Because it's more than just fighting, 
when it, when it comes to war. Like you can, like if you you can come with a crazy strategy. If you're outnumbered, like if it's 10 versus 100, that's winnable if you can come up with a, with a good strategy, yeah? So I really hope we see some of that because, I mean, Naruto has delivered that in the past, uh, the show. So, I mean, why would they not in a war arc, you know what I'm saying? But, um, I don't know, my uh, my expectations are pretty high. I mean, not only have they have they built up <clears throat> since the beginning of the show, really, this, this whole fucking story. Um, but, of course, you guys in the comments are hyping it up for me. Also, I don't know what the hell are you guys talking about when you guys keep asking me to dance. I don't know what the hell that means. <laughs> but what I do know is, before I met Pain, all of you kept saying, "You shall, the world shall know Pain" or some shit. So I assume it's gotta, it's, it's gotta, it's gotta have something to do with some guy that I haven't met yet. That's possible. That, that's probably really, really strong, J just from just from that logic. But I don't know what the fuck you guys mean when you ask me, "Are you ready to dance?" Like what? <laughs> what does that mean? Also, fun fact, I'm actually a good dancer, but, you know, that's beside the point. Um, but yeah, I don't know what that means, so I'm excited to see what that means. And uh, yeah, dude, I mean, uh, I'm just I'm just very hyped, you know? I hope it delivers, and I think it does, because, I mean, a lot of my friends tell me, yo, Shippuden's a great show, the last arc is the best. Everyone tells me that. A lot of people also say the pain arc was the best, which I, which I really agree with. You know, I can definitely see why paint arc would be considered the best. Sasuke, Sasuke Itachi, Jiraiya Pain, Naruto Pain, uh, Sasuke Deidara, I mean, it just, it just had so much fire. It, Itachi, Itachi reveal, that arc was fucking insane. I'll never forget the Pain arc, for sure. So if, pe if people are telling me that this arc is better, coming up, that's crazy, bro. That's crazy. So, I think I'm talking for too long. There really, there really isn't much more I can say. Um, Let's just go ahead and hop into it, man. This is shipping in episodes 243 and 244. Make sure I like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go, bro. True. 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 I mean, I kind of like this, though. Even though they are caging up Naruto and B, having Naruto learn how to control the Ninetales is number one priority. Because then he'll be the strongest, or at least one of the strongest. He'll turn the tides of a battlefield real quick, you know what I'm saying? So, even though I don't like the cage, I do like the idea behind it. Because we are going to need Naruto and Killer B 100% in this fight. We're not winning without them, I'm sorry. It's not happening. Madara? Come on, man. Oh, God. Was it like a Jurassic Park kind of shit? <laughs> it's more extreme than the Forest of Death? That's hilarious. That's actually hilarious. Alright, well this is great. Naruto has to keep his, uh... He'll be ready for war after this, if this island's gonna keep him on his toes. You know what I'm saying? Hey! <laughs> there he goes. Fuck yeah. Naruto, meet your new sensei, buddy. Hopefully they get along. They should get along. They're kind of similar. They're both, they're both like free spirits. I like the music. Is this his theme song? Holy shit. This is nice. Oh, that's right. B's already been here. So B's already like... Oh, shit. There's a hierarchy. Kind of cool. Yeah, he's already friends with all the beasts. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Hey, fist bump. Fuck yeah. Bang. Oh, 
Naruto has to gain B's respect. Yeah. I don't mind this. He has to gain B's respect. We've seen this guy before. I want to say we saw him when we first ran into Kakuzu and Hidon. He had that hawk jutsu or crow jutsu or whatever. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's it. What? Whoa. We saw this in the intro. Is this fucking anti Naruto? What the hell? Dark Naruto? <laughs> His eyes are kind of fire. I ain't gonna cap. Black and red. Hmm. So maybe there was a little hatred st stuck in Naruto all this time, you know what I'm saying? It must not be a lot, but it's enough to summon this fucking guy. What? Oh shit. I mean, that would make sense for Nar for the Nine Tails to cling on to Naruto's hatred. That's right. So this is good. If Naruto is able to deal with this dude, that means Naruto won't have any hatred left for the Nine Tails to cling on to. That is a good first step in trying to control the Nine Tails. Ooh. If this is Beast theme music, it's the best theme music in the show. I'm sorry. <laughs> This theme music is legit. I kind of want to see the Sage Mode version of uh, Dark Naruto. Probably look really cool. <clears throat> How is Naruto going to defeat his exact self? Just a darker version of him. You know? It'll just be a stalemate forever. Okay. Alright. Um, well, we still have an episode to watch. I don't want to forget that. But, uh, okay, so Naruto and B have arrived in the island. It looks like B... I like this though. I like how B kind of denied Naruto because that means Naruto has to gain B's respect, which I which I agree with. You know what I'm saying? Teaching someone how to control a fucking nuke is not a you know it shouldn't be overlooked and so easy to do, right? Even though we know Naruto to be you know a very good guy and the protagonist, of course. B doesn't know that. B has, this is the first time B has met Naruto, so I agree with him. You know, turning him down and having Naruto you know maybe perhaps pass this waterfall of truth first, then he can gain B's respect. And then um, we can get down to down to trying to control the nine tails. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but first things first. You know what I'm saying? Cool. All right. Let's move on to the next episode. Yo. Naze jinchuu liki de aru onore ni soko made hokori o motte ta ka. Sore wa osoraku ani rai kage sama no tame da. That's such a power fucking dynamic duo, bro. One is the jinchuu liki, one is the rai kage. Damn, ain't no one fucking with them, brothers. <laughs> no. Figure out yourself, Naruto. What? I mean... Damn. That makes sense, though. Like, if I... Jinchurikis are probably have contracts on their heads at all times, you know? I wouldn't be surprised they I mean, they never showed it, but... I'm sure some people in the village maybe wanted to kill Naruto. Low-key, bro. Damn. Oh, the third Raikage. 
It was their dad? Damn, what a fucking... What jeans, bro? They're all brawny. <laughs> they all look strong as hell. What jeans? For real. Whoa, what is this jutsu? What? Oh, whoa! That reminds me of that Dragon Ball Z, or that Dragon Ball Super thing. Mafubu! Or whatever. You guys know what I'm talking about. Mafubu! Mafuba? <laughs> One of those. Aww. Ah. Okay. That's when they chose B to be the Tinchuriki yet next, huh? Shit. Oh, that's when he started hating him. I mean, yeah, he's a kid, so he doesn't know any better, right? What do you call that? Hating by association? <laughs> Naruto sad music. Naruto sad music. Sorry. <laughs> I'm a troll. I'm a fool. Don't mind me. I'm a bakayero konero. So he's, dude. B's been like this this whole time. He's been rapping, and chilling, and dancing, and vibing. That's what's up. It's like a free ass spirit, bro. I envy that. That's foul, bro. I'm throwing hands at anyone that does that to me, bro. Are you serious? Come on, man. Throw an egg in my face? Hell no. Yeah, you can't. You can't anymore. Yeah, B's a lot better than, uh... A lot better than me, for sure, and probably most of us that are watching. Because I would have threw hands, bro. <laughs> I would have summoned the hand of the fucking octopus and slapped the shit out of them if they did that to me, man. Come on. Unconscious hatred. That's the worst. Cause that shit can leak out randomly, right? Is he stupid? That's not B, Naruto. God damn it! Why is Naruto so stupid sometimes? <laughs> I guess that's character, though. That is part of his character. He's kind of a dum dum. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This theme music is fire, bro. おらともといおらともといもといといたおらもといたじかんふたりで一緒に修行失敗してもらっしょうおばっしょう笑いあってゆうじょうおじかんもといといたおらもといたじかんいやーあっほうそんいいいいあっほうそんあっほうそんあっ
that was a that was a bit more of a of B B's backstory. You know what I'm saying? Of course, B. I mean, he also lived the Jinjuriki life. So far, all the all the Jinjurikis that we know of, Gara, Naruto, and B now have all pretty much when they were kids, they were, you know, they were treated as scum, trash, because the villagers. Even if they saw an innocent little child, they knew what was in them was a fucking crazy nuke <laughs> that can go off at any second. Which I guess is kind of scary, and I guess understandable if I'm looking it through their eyes. But, ah man, they threw eggs at him? I'm throwing hands, bro. I am summoning the goddamn a tails octopus out of my stomach and slapping the shit at you if you're throwing an egg at me. No! You're not throwing an egg at me, bro. <laughs> B's a better man than I am. What the fuck? Jesus. Okay, well. Um. So, yeah, we got his backstory. We got the whole Motoy backstory. And, uh, I mean, yeah, uh, uh, we've seen Gara have assassination, co assassination contracts out on him in his village, you know, from his dad trying to kill him. We saw B's, you know, former best friend trying to kill him. I'm sure Naruto had people try to kill him at some points, you know what I'm saying? Uh, luckily, Sandai Mei uh, was, probably, was probably protecting him, and of, and of course, Iruko. Um, but yeah, man, the, the Jinchuriki life ain't easy, for sure, you know? And uh, maybe after this, you know, Naruto and B can uh, can understand each other. I still think Naruto needs to gain B's respect. I don't, um, and I feel like the first step into doing that, and the first step into, you know, doing this whole Nine Tails controlling process, is to pass this waterfall of truth, which apparently, Naruto, I thought, I thought the, uh, the wild waterfall of truth was just going to show Nar uh, regular Naruto, but no, Naruto does have a dark side. He does have hatred residing within him that he needs to defeat somehow, and that might not be that might not that might not be through through normal means. Because I mean, if 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 dark Naruto has exactly Naruto's jutsus and powers and sage jutsu and whatever whatever, um, and it's just going to be a stalemate. So maybe Naruto can talk to jutsu. I mean. It, this would be a great talk no jutsu moment, right? Because it would make sense. You can't really beat yourself, you know what I'm saying? You can't power, you can't, you can't power up more than yourself can. You just, it's just going to be a stalemate. So I guess this, this might be a good talk no jutsu um, for Naruto, which I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind, you know. Even though we got a recent talk no jutsu from Naruto because of the whole Sasuke thing, which I think I still think was was his best talk no jutsu. But yeah, this is, this, is, this is like one of those moments. Um, and then after this, maybe B will gain respect for him after beating the Wall of Fall of Truth. Then we can finally get into controlling the Nine Tails. Because that's going to be sick. I wonder what the process is. If the Wall of Fall, Waterfall of Truth is the first process, that this is great. Because that would mean Naruto will be eliminating all his hatred. Which the, which the Nine Tails kind of gets stronger. He feeds off that, yes? So if Naruto can, can get rid of all of that, that's a great start. Totally separating himself from the Nine Tails chakra, which is great. Uh, and after that, I mean, shit. Do we just go into our inner world and fucking talk talk to the Nine Tails, see what's up? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I don't really have any theories on how the process is. I'll just watch it. You know, I'll, I'll just be surprised and watch it. Um, the intro and outro songs, not bad. The outro song is better than the intro song this time. Very good. Um, but yeah, I mean. At, that, that was kind of the case for the whole of Naruto Shippuden so far. The, the Naruto Shippuden intros and outros are actually very, very, very good. You know what I'm saying? I definitely enjoyed them. I've added a couple of them to my playlist. You know what I mean? Very, very good. Um, okay, well, I'm excited to watch the next couple episodes. Sorry if I'm a bit off today, if I seem low energy. Uh, after my live stream last night, I actually had a very intense fever. I, I, was, I was in bed, sweating profusely breathing very heavily don't worry it's not corona um because i mean i don't leave the house <laughs> well I, I, I don't i rarely leave the house so it can't be corona um but uh yeah I, I had a very high fever so i i didn't even think i was gonna record today but i feel a little bit better enough to record um so yeah there's that so if i seem low energy sorry that's why um i'll get the energy back yeah you know, that's how human bodies work you know what i'm saying so anyway uh, I will see you on next ship in reaction. If you guys haven't already, like and subscribe to the channel. You know what I'm saying? I upload every day. I live stream every day. Um, cause I do. I want to. And, um, uh, if you, uh, if you guys are interested in, in early and full reactions, I'm like 10 episodes ahead on the Patreon with the full reactions available. So if you want to watch those instead, make sure you look at the links down below in the description. Uh, follow my Twitter at WolfReacts. 
uh, if you guys uh, want to join my want to join my Discord server and have cool loyalty badges and, and emojis that you can use in the YouTube comments and in my in my live chat, uh, consider becoming a member and joining the Wolf Pack officially. You know what I mean? Trying to build the community so slowly but surely. And of course, check out my live streams. Well, my live streams are every day so far at 6 p.m. PST. And, and right now, I'm playing The Witcher, and I'm absolutely loving it. I think the last um, the last episode, I was a uh, Geralt and Yennefer were getting down and dirty. Mm, that was nice. Obviously, I couldn't show it because, I mean, YouTube and nudity is a thing. But, uh, you know, I got to see it for myself, so that was very cool. <laughs> anyway, The Witcher is super, super fun. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying myself. So go and check that out if you're interested. Uh, but in any other case, y'all have a good one. I will see y'all next ship in reaction. Can't wait to watch the next couple episodes. And I'm out of here, all right? Peace.